welcome to another episode. Today it's Tuesday, so I've decided we're going to bring another healthy dessert. A dessert where you can enjoy with guilt free. So, um, I went for a cheesecake this time. High protein, and it, it looks really nice. I've never tried cottage cheese, so I'm, I'm excited to see how it tastes. You will need cottage cheese, two egg whites, a protein powder, I've got vanilla from my protein. You will need stevia, but I've got candorel, and vanilla. I know you're thinking now, you're like, this is a cheesecake, where's the jelly top? Well, whilst I was about to record this earlier, I realised you needed to make the jelly and leave it cool for like six to eight hours. So. I will put the recipe below and the instructions, so you got to prepare it about four hours ahead. Mine's still chill in the moment, hopefully by the time I need it, it will be chill enough. We will need 240 grams of cottage cheese. That does not look appetizing. Cottage cheese, done. Two egg whites. Two egg whites, done. One scoop of a vanilla protein powder, done. Two tablespoon. One tablespoon of an artificial sugar. Boop. One tablespoon of vanilla. I'm using vanilla extract, but it doesn't state anything. And then obviously the jello, it says strawberry jello, but I'm in the UK and I believe we don't have jello, not on my supermarket I went to, so I bought a little Morrison's pack of jelly and it's currently chilling. Hopefully done. So the instructions, preheat the oven to 160 degrees centigrade. Oven on! Prepare the jello, that's in the fridge. Blend the cottage cheese and egg whites until the consistency is smooth and without any lumps. Let's do that then. That's nice and blended now, nice and smooth. Step four, pour the mixture into a bowl and whisk it together with the protein powder, the artificial sugar and the vanilla. Pour that in there. The vanilla, protein powder and sugar, whoop, in. Now let's whisk it together. Once that's whisked together, get a little non-stick. This is a non-stick pan. Pour this in. Now pop it in the oven and bake for 22 to 25 minutes. That's in the oven, the time is on. I'm just gonna wait now. So the cheesecake's just come out of the oven. Now I'm just gonna let it lie and cool down. Now the cheesecake is cool enough, it's time to get the jello. If it's set, it should be you should be able to stir a spoon through it and then you know with perfect consistency to pour on top. You can stir a spoon through mine, so mine seems like it's okay. So it just says pour it over the cheesecake, let's try it. And there we have it. So now we're gonna leave this a chill for a 10 to 12 hours before we can touch it, unfortunately. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you sharing it with your YouTuber friends. Remember, I do videos every Tuesday and Friday, so I'll see you in the next one. See ya.